But I need you to understand that work is the key to success. That's right. Work, work is the key to success. So I'm gonna give you two principles. Work, work, we're gonna, we're gonna revisit. Work, work, what we talked about last week as it relates to work, all right? So remember, this key, that's right, this key is symbolic of work, work. And work is really the key to success. It's one of the major keys to success. All right, I really, really need to talk to you guys about the importance of work. Work, work, because what I realize is that work, work, while you heard what I said, I, I'm not 100% sure that you're clear on exactly what I meant. All right, work, work. I've been talking to a lot of students and a lot of individuals, you know, and what I realize is that there's this imbalance, and I want to talk about it today. All right, because I talk to, you know, young people, and they're talking about, like, who God he's living on, you know, in the gated communities, you know, having several cars and making six figures. And I'm hearing a lot of talk about six-figure incomes. I'm hearing a lot of talk about European vehicles. I'm hearing a lot of talk about traveling and cruising. But the problem is I'm not hearing as much conversation around the word work. Work, work. That's right, that four-letter word. Work, W-O-R-K. Work, work, work. And what I want you to understand is that it is important to have that balance, all right? And so I've been hearing this generation talk about money and things like I've never heard any generation talk about it. But here's my problem. This generation wants more than any generation has ever wanted, but they're not willing to work to work as hard as the generations in past. That's right, I'm gonna say it again. This generation wants financially more than any generation has ever wanted. Work, work. But this generation does not have the sweat equity of the generations of the past. That's right, you heard what I said. This generation wants more economically than any generation, but they don't have the sweat equity. And I want you to know, you can want it all day, but Tupac said, work, work. The only thing that comes to a dreamer is sleep, is sleep. That's right, the only thing that comes to a dreamer is sleep. And if you want it, you gotta be willing to work for it, work. So I need you to do me a favor. I need you to look at your day. And if your day has more dreams in it, that's right, if you daydreaming more than you're working, then there's a problem. If your day does not consume of work, if your day does not consume of that four letter word, W-O-R, Hey, then you are not going to be successful. Work, work. You are not going to reach your goals. And so I challenge you this week. That's right, not only do I dare you, I double dare you this week to put in work. I triple dare you to have some sweat equity. I want you to wake up and at the end of your day, at the end of Monday, at the end of Tuesday, at the end of Wednesday, at the end of Thursday, at the end of Friday, I want you to be able to look at your work week. I want you to be able to look at your entire week. And if your week does not have more work, that's right, if your week does not have more work than it has dreaming, I want you to know that you're fooling yourself. That you'll never get that car. That you'll never get that house that you will never have the things in life you want if you're not willing to work. Work, work, 